Uh, it's Wednesday night, and so it must be a CPC meeting. Um, thank you for attending, and thank you all for the participation in last night or last week's uh, vote discussion and vote on these Warren articles. Um, so we're actually are dealing with some kind of of housekeeping matters that we were unable to attend to given the late hour last week. And so that's primarily what the purpose of this meeting is. Um, it is, of course, a meeting, a virtual meeting. And so pursuant to um, the governor's emergency orders, I will be putting in, uh, reading into the record um, a remote meeting rules. Uh, first, I will identify myself and I'd ask everyone in attendance to identify his or herself whenever they speak. Either I will do so or you may do so, just as long as the record is clear who it is that is speaking. I am Peter Pingator. I'm the CPC chair. I will take a roll call vote at this point to confirm that all members of the committee uh, are present and can hear me. Uh, first, Albert, Mr. Here. Albert. Mr. Barnes. Here. Mr. Crocker. He's Here. muted. Thank you, Gordy. Okay. Mr. Dermody? Here. Ms. Dorfman? Here. Ms. Gers Mr. Gersel? Chris is not here. He may be joining us. <laughs> Have we heard from Chris? Yes, he was at a baseball game. He'll be here soon. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, Ms. Kirk? Here. Uh, Mr. Zimbo? Here. And as I said, I'm Peter Pingator. I am here. Uh, this is uh, an open meeting of the Community Preservation Committee. It is being conducted remotely, consistent with Governor Baker's uh, executive order of March 12th, 2020, due to the current sta state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings. And as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further, all members of the public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. My AirPods. Okay. All right, can you hear can you hear us, Laura? Can you hear Laura? Okay, great. Uh, the order allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will not feature public comment. Uh, for this meeting, the Needham CPC is convening by Zoom app as posted on the town's website, identifying how the public may join. Please note the meeting is being recorded as well as being live streamed. Some attendees are participating by video conference pursuant to the live stream. Accordingly, be aware that other folks may be able to see you and you should take care not to screen share your computer and note that anything you broadcast may be captured by the recording. All of our meeting materials have been provided to members of this body uh, and are available on the town's website I don't think that we have any other uh, documents other than our one page agenda. And the public, of course, is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda, unless I note otherwise. Is Peter frozen for anybody else? Yep. Yep. We had the the same issue at the select board meeting. So let's give him a second to. Who got frozen there? Peter. <laughs> <laughs> so it's him. Yeah. Meeting will go a lot smoother if it stays this way. You know he's probably <laughs> still talking. Well, yeah. <laughs> Waxing poetic. Plus, he can probably hear us. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. I hope so. I think Peter's doing a great job. 
Oh, <laughs> he's <laughs> awesome. We should he's name a, we should name a field after him. He, Maybe he's a my, track. He's my hero. A track. <laughs> he logged out. He's gonna log back in. Yeah. yeah. Reboot. <laughs> Models of technology. That was the game, Chris. Uh, it was just a scrimmage, and we won. Good. Did you have fun, though? Of course. As long as my child had fun, to see the excitement in his eyes made me excited. There you go. He also went two for three, which always helps. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, how old is he? Fifteen. Wow. I know. It's scary. Getting a job soon. Looking into buying a car. Oh, it's scary. Get his license. Oh, let's let's pump the brakes. No pun, pun intended. <laughs> Helps to have a license if you're going to buy a car. I know. I think the shock will come into where he thinks he's going to be getting some nice car, where it's going to be a uh, two thousand dollar car just to get him to and from school, if well, that. I, I recommend what my daughter suggested when she turned sixteen, which was that I give her my car and then I buy the new car. I like that. All right, well, was there a bloodless coup while I was off screen? Oh, no, lots of blood. No, quite the contrary. Oh, Chris is here. We yes, made you. Okay. We yes, made I guess careful I careful on your screen. Thank you. Okay. okay. You never, you never sounded better. <laughs> I won't tell you who, but somebody said you never sounded better. Okay. Uh, remember to mute your phone when you're not speaking. And, of course, hope for the best in terms of your internet connection. Um, speak clearly and in a way that helps us generate accurate minutes. Um, and for uh, any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you. And of course, as I said before, state your name. Each vote, of course, will be uh, by roll call vote. Um, the update that I have is, chair, first item is chairman's updates. Uh, the update I have is that um, I've I reported, I consulted again with um, the select board last night. Um, I noted at the time, and I know tonight, that the last that we had reported, to the, the CPC had reported to the select board on 324, six months ago. Um, and I think it was the last meeting that the select board met in person. I think they were socially distanced in a conference room. So uh, the same agenda, the same articles other than uh, this, other than the, the subtraction of one and the addition of another, um, were discussed and I presented. Um, there were no questions asked by the select board. Um, so, second item is a vote that we, I would like to take this as a procedural vote to enable the chair to make amendments to Article 16. Article 16 is the financial article that we that I discussed um, at the beginning of our last week's meeting. Um, and as I pointed out during the meeting, the uh, we are uh, funding each of the um, uh, each of the war uh, each of the proposals that are being drawn from any, any source of funds other than restricted funds, we are funding them from general receipts, that is incoming receipts for this upcoming year, rather than um, uh, uh, our general res our reserve. So we're gonna have to fix that in our, in our motion. But the point of bringing it up at this point is that because of that, if any of the articles that are being funded through general receipts do not pass on the floor of town meeting. Um, say, for example, um, the uh, let's say, for example, the Claxton Field proposal does not pass. That's being funded out of out of um, general receipts. Then we're going to have to amend our financial warrant article to increase the amount of the reserves for this coming year by the sum of. $1,500, which is the amount that we are drawing down in order to pay for the design of the Claxton Field lights and skin design renovation. I use that only as an example and not uh, only as an example. So, um, so we're gonna, if any of, the, any of those articles that are drawn from general receipts 
are voted down, we're going to have to amend our financial article so that so that we vote the proper uh, amount of funds in each of the buckets, including the general reserve. Um, what I ask for is a vote that allows me as chair to amend on the floor of town meeting that warrant article to reflect any votes um, that are taken uh, that, are, that are votes that are adverse to uh, or that are in the negative with respect to any of our CPA articles being funded by general receipts. Does that make sense? Okay, good. And do I hear a second? Uh, Chris, okay. Thank you. Okay, Chris Versal seconds. All right, let's have a roll call. Hey, Mr. Chair, who made that motion? Pardon me? No, no actually, Rick Simbone made the motion. Sorry, thanks, Kristen. The motion was made by Rick Simbone and it was seconded by Chris, Chris, Chris Kurzel. Any discussion? Discussion? Mr. Dermody. I was just requesting that you say, is there any discussion? Thank you. Okay. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, let's have a vote. It will be a roll call vote. I'll call it in alphabetical order as best I can. Mr. Allen. Uh, aye. Mr. Barnes. Aye. Mr. Crocker. Aye. Mr. Dermody. Aye. Ms. Dorfman. Aye. Mr. Gersel. Aye. Ms. Kirk. Aye. Mr. Zimbone. Aye. And the chair votes aye. Thank you. Now, uh, the next item is um, something that I alluded to in the description of the amendment, potential amendments to Article 16, which is despite our best efforts last week, um, we uh, mangled the language, if you will, of the resolutions. We funded um, we're, for any amount that was being funded out of unrestricted funds. We used the language uh, general reserve as opposed to CPA receipts. In the past, as I said last week, we usually have the reserve funds given the, the, but given the calendar, we do not have the reserve funds there. They are now being recertified and eventually will find their way back into our reserve account. But as it is now, we're funding through CPA and receipts for 2021. So um, I think we have a series of motions. We have, um, what I'd like to do is make a mo is have a series of motions with respect to each of 2020, 01, 02, 06, 07, and 10. Um, but let's start with the easy ones first. Karis, do we have that form motion? I said. Yes. Would it make sense? I wasn't able to change the. Um, uh, I was not able to change the um, all the language that way, but I can put that up and use that as the format if that makes the most sense. Yeah, we can tweak it. Oops. Can you all see the draft? Um, yes. Hold on. I do not see it. I see it. Yes, I do see it. Just that two two line thing, right? Yes. You're showing an email, correct, Karis? Correct. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. And it's just this language. 
as the format for changing article, um, uh, the requests for um, a one, o two, o six, and 10. And essentially it's just moving it from the general reserve, which there is no general reserve to the uh, community preservation fund receipts. So it's a rather semantic uh, change. Yes. Wonderful. So Mr. Chair, are you ready for, for someone to make that motion? I am. Then I, this is Paul Alpert speaking. I move that we amend the resolution passed on September 16, 2020, recommending funding of the fiscal year 2020-01 First Baptist Church request for the restoration and preservation of its historic and street facing front porch by changing the source of the funds from general reserve to community <laughs> preservation fund receipts. Second. I second, oh, sorry. All right, so that the motion was made by Mr. Alpert and it was seconded by uh, Penny Kirk. Discussion? Hearing none, we'll have a vote. Mr. Alpert? Aye. Mr. Barnes? Aye. Mr. Mr. Crocker? Aye. Mr. Dermody? Yes, aye. Ms. Dorfman? Aye. Mr. Gersel? Aye. Ms. Kirk? Aye. Mr. Zimbone. I don't see. <coughs> hey, folks, I'm back. Uh, you can, Rick, I have a call me? on you. Do you vote? How do you vote? Um, are we still voting on the first one? Because I got shut out. Okay, yes, we're still voting on the first one, and I called your name. Yeah, it's I. All right, okay, and Mr. Pingator, your chair, votes aye. Okay, next is the same motion, essentially uh, with respect to 2020-02. And let's see. Harris is gonna have to scroll down, I guess. Yeah, let's scroll, that's, okay, so what we'll do is let me try reading it. I think I can do this. So the motion is, oh, Karis, can you scroll? I, you're the only one who could scroll? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, that's okay. I'm going to begin. I, I'll ask you when you scroll down for a minute. Okay, this is, sure. um, uh, the motion is uh, to amend the resolution passed on September 16th, 2020, recommending funding of FY 2020-02. <clears throat> scroll down, please. Okay. First parish church's request for preservation of its historic steeple, Bell Tower, by changing the source of funds from general reserve to community preservation fund receipts. Second. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, so I'll make that motion. Put Mr. Alpert a second. Discussion. Hearing none, let's have a vote. Mr. Alpert. Aye. Mr. Barnes. Aye. Mr. Crocker. I have staying on this one. Mr. Dermody. Aye. Mr. Gersel. Aye. Ms. Kers Ms. Kirk. Aye. Uh, Mr. Zimbo. Aye. And the chair votes aye. Peter? Yes. You forgot Ms. Do you forgot Ms. Dorfman. I'm, I apologize, Laura. That's okay. I, I really do. I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. My vote is aye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Next is a similar resolution with respect to 2020-06. So, Karis, if you could scroll down. I probably could pull this up myself, but okay. I'm sorry, would you scroll back up? Okay. Um, I'll make the motion to amend 
the resolution passed on September 16th, 2020, recommending funding of FY 202006. And now if you could scroll down, please, Karis. <clears throat> Needham DPW and Park and Recreation's request for design funding to design field light improvements and evaluate the conditions of the field skins. Scroll back up, please. By changing the source of funds from general reserve to community preservation fund receipts. Second. And that's by Mr. Alpert. Okay, discussion. Hearing none, we'll have a vote. Mr. Alpert. Aye. Mr. Barnes. Aye. Mr. Crocker. Aye. Mr. Dermody. Aye. Ms. Dorfman. Aye. Mr. Gersel. Aye. Ms. Kirk. Aye. Mr. Zimbone. Aye. And the chair votes aye. Now, with respect to 2020-07, will be a similar motion. Now oh, you have to scroll back up first. Sorry. So sorry, Peter. That one was in there by mistake. 2007 was the one that we voted down. Oh, all right. Um, I okay. Deferred. Deferred. Okay. All right, we will now move on to 2020-10. And I will move to amend the resolution passed on September 16th, 2020, recommending funding of FY 2020 <clears throat> Sorry, Peter, it should be a motion to amend the $20,000 funding source. I was gonna get that. I was gonna get there. Uh, oh, all right. Um, okay, we'll say that then. The $20,000, well, uh, 2020-10, the Needham Affordable House Trust Request for Emergency Rental Assistance Program. With respect to the $20,000 funding, by changing the source of said funds, from general reserve to community preservation fund receipts. Second. Okay, discussion. Hearing none, we'll have a vote. Mr. Alpert. Aye. Mr. Barnes. Aye. Ms. Crocker. Mr. Crocker. Aye. Aye. Mr. Dermody. Aye. Ms. Dorfman. I just have a question, I'm so sorry. Sure. Please, uh, Karis, can you go down to that um, where those items are listed for the changes? Yeah, that's incorrect. It should be the $20,000 funding. Service. Oh, okay. Because that says $100,000. Yeah, the $100,000 was coming out of the um, uh, community housing bucket, and that was the correct um, language. It was just the additional $20,000 that we're appropriating out of the um, community preservation fund receipts that needed to be corrected. Okay, thank you so much. So my vote is aye. Okay. Mr. Gersel. Aye. Mr. Zimbabwe. It's aye, and my apologies, I keep getting bumped out here. Um, this is like the second time. So I voted aye on the previous one too. Okay. And Mrs. Kirk, Kirk votes aye. Okay, and the chair votes aye. I think we have all votes recorded. Do we have all votes recorded, Kristen? We certainly do, Mr. Chair. I do have a question about Mr. Elper, if he wanted to abstain from um, the first. Yeah, that was, I was, that's good. I wasn't sure if he had voted and I think he wanted to abstain. So yeah. let's change that vote on Thank 01. You. You may um, now, let's Please change my vote to, to abstain on 2020-01. Okay, great. Good catch. Who Thank made you. the motion on 01? Okay. It's all, all this. <laughs> doesn't matter. It's just the funding source, so I'm not too worried about that. It's, he can make the motion and he can abstain, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, 
All right, next item is we were, we were moving very quickly in terms of preparation for town meeting. So um, and we were moving quickly in our last meeting and so we have some short deadlines. Um, I thought, um, first of all, I think that Joe Barnes uh, wins the award for, you know, that person in the dormitory who got his, you know, exam, you know, his, his final paper done, you know, term paper done in the beginning of the term, that's Joe, because apparently he's done his presentation already and it's uploaded. Is that correct, Joe? That's correct, but you're not talking quality, you're talking time, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. All right, so. Um, hey, nice, Joe. Nicely done, Joe. So now, um, I thought we could use, if it's okay with you, Rick, I thought it might be okay to, um, I thought it would be nice if we put your presentation up because it, it's, it kind of hits all the right notes and covers all the right bases. And it's also an example of one where you're, you're allowing the proponent to share the presentation time with you. Is that okay, Rick? It's fine by me. Mine's already recorded as well. I'm not going to take credit to be ahead of Joe because I bumped his out when I put mine up. Did you delete his? Yeah, he had to re reinitialize his, I think. Okay. All right. Karis, you think we can do that? Regarding? I think we can put Rick's presentation up there. Up on the website? Right now. Put it up on a – I emailed it to you. Can we put it on a – Oh, screen? sure. Um, um, I don't know. It's a, it's, we'll, we'll see. It should work. I just well, haven't done it before. Word document. Oh, the Word document. Okay. The Word document, not his. Oh, that would be cool if we could actually watch it. <laughs> that would be. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather watch it. No. So, um, and we'll go, and it, I, I think it's instructive. While we're waiting for Karis to do that, um, I, there was a bit of a, a blip in uh, in mine in that Carl, the presenter from First Parish, was not going to be here this week, so he couldn't do it. He asked if he could have his presentation that was made at the public hearing suffice for town meeting. Well, we didn't we didn't have any choice, and I guess there wouldn't be a whole lot of change. But I had to do mine separate, and hopefully Cindy can uh, merge the two when the time comes. So. My understanding is she's all set with Carl. Okay, good. Oh. We lose Peter again. I think so. Can we appropriate some money from CPC funds to get him a new computer? <laughs> <laughs> so moved for his internet. Um, so I'll scroll through it um, until Peter gets back. May I ask a? Uh, procedural slash technical question at this time? Sure. Oh, hi, Peter. Oh, no, we, we, were um, we lost you. That was my fault. I don't know what happened the first time, but this time um, I unplugged my computer and the battery went dead. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Now, at this point, I've, it's, I've had so many different problems and different is that it, I'm completely relaxed about it. Okay. So I apologize. All right. Bob, what's your question? Yes, um, so this is very legible and clear, so kudos to that. Are you reading this, uh, Rick? Are you just showing it, introducing it? How does that work, please? But what happened was um, I used this as my script as I recorded it on Zoom. So I set up the Zoom camera, yep. um, hit record, and then I, in essence, read from the text. So he can have this, he can have the text right in front of him while he's staring straight ahead. And it's almost like a teleprompter, right, Rick? That's basically what I did. I, I did it. Okay. 
Well, so let's all right. Let's start from the top. We can just do it really quickly. So uh, let's, Karis, can we just kind of scroll down? Can we start with the top and then scroll down? So uh, notice he identifies himself, um, and he describes what the purpose of his presentation is. He tells you what the article number is, what the amount is, and what is the request for. Okay, there it is. Who who are you? Why are you here? And what do you want? Okay, that's okay. That's that's it. Okay, the next and then scroll down the next one. Um, and then he, int he introduces the fact that there's going to be another member, another individual who's going to discuss the program in greater detail. So it's like the program, the details of it is going to be handled over here. But here, let me give you a summary of it. Here's what we're going to do. Scroll forward. Can we scroll forward? Um, and we look, he, he looked at eligibility. Okay, that was an, that's a very key piece. Why is this eligible? It's eligible under the act, We're fully eligible here. And then look what he does. He reaches over someplace else for support for the idea. Look, 80 communities have adopted this already. All right, that's kind of important with respect to our church applications, for example, okay? All right, and then scroll forward. And then into further details about how it's gonna be appropriated. 120,000, 100,000 comes from our, our um, our restricted fund funds from the community housing reserve and 20,000 comes from the general reserves. Um, and then scroll forward. And I think he asked for, uh, he explains that there's gonna be another $50,000 coming in from another partner and what the total amount is. And then I think he summarizes by asking for our support. Oh, he actually said, he talks, he alludes to these participation issues. So we, thorny question. Here's a thorny question. Here's what it is. Here's your answer, and I'll go some pro, some further details are going to be provided by the proponent, and then scroll forward. I think that may be it. Is that it? Um, okay. What's going to happen with the money? Another thorny question. So, what are the program details? I'll answer that in general ways. Hey, who's going to administer that? I'll answer that in general ways because those are the kind of general questions that you may have, and then more information is going to be provided by the proponent. Then he concludes. Um, and asks for your support. So I think that with respect to, uh, that's a good model. I think in, with any, any one of these programs where we have the proponent speaking as well, um, that would mean, I think the first Baptist church, um, I don't know what our plans are. Let's just discuss that right now with say Needham community farm, um, that, and that's that's Artie's, right? I'm always getting this wrong. No, no, I'm the uh, I'm the uh, um, uh, clocks and field. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. It's Paul, Paul, Albert, and Laura. No, I have this. Who has who has the community farm? I give up. Hey. Sorry, Chris. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, have you discussed with uh, Joe Lakehorn? Um, whether, okay, so you get to share it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you share it, rather than just do the full lateral over, you want to kind of establish those kinds of questions. Speak about sure. it generally. And then Joe, because Joe's great because he gives the really, you know, he's passionate about it and it's a, and it's a program that he should be passionate about, right? I will set the table for him. Don't you worry. You set the table, okay? And, and I would say that, again, Rick's, Rick's narrative is a perfect fit for that. Okay, you got uh, it. Mr. Chair? Yes. May I Mr. speak Gerstle. to Mr. Gerstel? What's that? May I uh, address Mr. Gerstel, please? Yes. Uh, Mr. Gerstel, I, uh, as a uh, president of the board of directors of the Needham Community Council, which runs a food pantry, I would politely request and seriously mm -hmm. that the food pantry be so named. Okay. I will take that suggestion and run it down right now. If there's another food pantry in town, great, but let's make sure we uh, name them accurately because in Mr. Leghorn's presentations in the past, it's been called the Needham Food Pantry. And I believe it is the Needham Community Council Food Pantry. All right, that's I will make point. sure they get the due credit they deserve. Well, it's not just credit, it's also helping people find it. Thank you. Oh, that's fine. Okay, great, that's a good point. Okay, so Chris, you've got that under you've got that under control. 
Yep. All right, and you got it's got to be uploaded. Now, the date is by Friday. Does that mean we get until 5 o'clock Friday, Karis, or does that mean we have to get it by noontime on Friday? What does no, it mean? I, uh, we're now um, out of summer hours for town hall, so by, by 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. Okay, so you have to upload by 5 o'clock. Um, Mr. Chairman, let's, yes, yeah, just uh, a, one tip to avoid doing what I did to Joe. Um, when you upload the file, usually the file was saved um, in a Zoom number. And what happens is, is when you upload the file, it uploads it unless you change the name of the file before you upload it it uploads it with that Zoom number. That Zoom number, when once uploaded, erases anybody else's presentation that's there with the same Zoom number. So you need to change um, your name of the, of the file either before you send it up or hopefully if no one else is there after you send it up. All right, so that's a really important thing for everyone to know. Karis, that's kind of a, and now is it the same Zoom number for this committee or for all committees? Do I, we know? I haven't looked at it. I, I don't know. I was, you know, once that happened, I panicked and called Joe. And, and you just- told him That I got some bad news. Yeah, I thought someone had died and he made it uh, very toxic. At any rate, it's very simple. At the top middle of the screen where it says Zoom, there's a little down arrow. You hit that, and then you can rename it, and that takes care of it. All right, that's kind of important to put on instructions, okay? I mean, you guys figured it out. There are a whole lot of people who won't figure it out. So, Karis, we probably should let our technology people on the town side know that. Yes, and I think if you email Cindy right away, she can also pull it as well. Pull it meaning, oh, she can, she, if you deleted it. You she can, can upload it. it then, yeah. Okay. Okay, so now let's see. Um, Claxton Field, Light and Skin. So that's going to be a comp, is that, uh, already is there your plan to have you and Ed? And offhand, I mean, it's certainly, I think it's always good. Ed, Ed does a great job of, of, as the person that handles all the fields in town, I'm, I'm perfectly fine having Ed do his part. I think I don't think Ed would mind doing that as well. I'll just introduce him, and then he has his video. Okay, but again, what I'd like to do is because we're we're kind of breaking out of this. We, in, you know, in the past we had always just had the proponents, you know, the representatives of CPC do the entire presentation. So um, I would. Well, you know, well, I mean, let, well, let me, let's, Peter. Let me step back then. I, I'm fine. I can I can take Ed's piece. And I can just run through whatever amount of time, seven or eight minutes of doing his. I'm fine with that as well. I right, can just I, take this stuff want, and just go I don't want you to have to do that. I'm just saying that what you may want to do is have actually just kind of, if you follow Rick's lead on this, which is here, it's L, here's what we're asking for. You know, just follow this, these, the general outline that we have here based on, on Rick's uh, presentation, which is he identifies who he is, what the, what the request is, how much the request is that it's eligible under the act. Um, you talk generally about what it is, and then you can you can have Rick, uh, then you can have Ed give the details of what the particulars are with the proposal. Is that okay? I mean, it's, it's fine with me. I mean, we, ha we, have some, we have some that are complicated, some that are simple. I take, I take this a little bit more on the simpler side of what it, it is. is. And it is, and it's something that you're kind of, it's kind of a subject matter that you, you know, you're kind of, you know, you have a lot of, facility with if you know yeah i mean I, I i'll talk to ed and i may just do the whole thing because I mean, as you said we're, we're breaking the norm and in some ways we're 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 we're, de we're letting that happen because of the zoom the zoom style of what's going on but again right. we already have some that are complicated i i don't think we I, I guess in reality we don't have to do every one like that then just because of the complicated ones i'll talk to ed and then we'll take care of it and you take care of it you're I'll okay great all I'll right all right and bob you have a question uh, yes, if I missed this, I apologize, but um, I consider the one I'm doing um, on the more challenging side. Oh, yeah. um, and would uh, I think we've agreed that the Reverend Darren is um, wonderful. 
um, for the screen. Um, so how do I coordinate that? Do I just record mine on my own and then she records her on her, her own? Yeah, now what we've been instructed by uh, the moderator is he expects, his expectation is that the total presentations by both the applicant and the representative of CPC to the total 15 minutes. Okay. okay. All right, so Chris, you gotta, Chris, you gotta be aware of that too because Joe can be a little uh, long-winded. Mr. So Chair, I think, may, I think we may have an issue. Is, is the Reverend a Needham resident? I don't think so. And she can't speak. She well, can't she can, we can get consent. No, because, because, it, because the mod, we had this at planning board. The moderator has to get consent of town meeting. And he's not able to do that. Good point, Mr. Alpert. There's short-term rental available. <laughs> With assistance? Just, uh, you know, just for t tomorrow. I yeah, think there's a, I think there's a couch in the church you can use for a couple of nights. All right. See, um, okay. So she's not, yeah, I can, I can see where this is going. <laughs> All right. We'll stop there. Um, so we, so Paul, you feel confident that that, um, there's no work around, if you will. That's, that's what the town moderator told us at planning board, because we have a, um, uh, we have a bylaw amendment. And we were going to have the, um, um, the, the bylaw amendment is because of, of a particular project that is going to be coming into town if the bylaw amendment passes. And we were thinking of having the proponent of that project uh, present and uh, the moderator told us we couldn't do it because he's not a Needham resident and he doesn't have the ability to get town meeting to vote to allow him to speak. Okay, so then that simplifies things a little bit. What Bob, what I would do is um, another thing. We're, we're fortunate you have got a, a, again somebody who's well matched with this project and this proposal. So I would crib heavily from her notes, right? I would, oh yeah, I would make her yeah, notes your presentation. Um, yeah, and maybe Karis can help me find um, her presentation uh, that was done at the 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 public hearing. I can watch that and you know and just take down some notes from that and use those as talking points. Are you going to raise the question whether whether there are any other proponents who are not town meeting who are not Needham residents? Well, Kyle Franceschi from First Parish is uh, is a, a town resident. Okay, and Ed Olson. Well, and first of all, I will confirm whether or not the Reverend is uh, or not a resident before I plow ahead. My, my memory says she's not, but I will confirm that first. If she's not, I will, I will talk to her in any case um, and get her blessing to use her script and, uh, uh, and then I'll proceed to record it. Okay, so... Um... I think that Ed is not a resident of Needham. Am I correct? Oh, about he that? is. He, he is Needham. Yes. Oh, he yeah, is. He oh, Needham. Okay, so then um, Carl said Ed, Carl, Joe, Lakehorn. Um, okay, I think we are okay. Dan Matthews is a resident of Needham, right? I hope so. so <laughs> yes. He's been fooling us yeah. um, for a long time. Uh, 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 suggestion? Yes. Um, Bob, I think that um, the Reverend had slides, did she not, in her presentation? You made, she might have had a script that she used behind the slides. Yeah. Yep. So you may want, because it looked like she was reading. I've got her on speed dial, so I, she'll be hearing from me soon. That's you Rick. Might I might just upload her slides and then you talk I, in the background. Can I use slides in this, Karis? I believe you can use slides in this, yes. So I think just like a normal Zoom, you would do a screen yep. share yep. Um, and then speak alongside the screen share. It's just like giving one of my lectures at school, piece of cake. I, I thought that you would be really, I thought this would be tailor-made for you. So yes, I was trying to make that, that's a good point, Rick, I was trying to make, which is she had a script, she clearly did. Yeah. So she was not speaking extemporaneously. So um, I would get her script with her permission um, and tell her, and crib from that. Yeah. Yeah, the other thing I would just suggest, uh, Mr. Chair, if I could, 
sure. is uh, when you when you go through your presentation and it's uh, recording, at the end of it, it tells you how long your presentation was. So in my particular case, when I did it, it was like four minutes and 50 seconds. So that told me that Dan Matthews now has 10 minutes of the 15 remaining. And so I coordinated with him and let him know that I gave him a copy of my remarks and he was going to use that and record his own. So. All right, that's another excellent point, and which leads to this. Bob, if you, I, I played around with the idea of, of, of answering um, the kind of questions that we got at our, our public hearing um, as part of the presentation for First Baptist Church. You know, are there, why are we funding a church? Is there a prohibition for funding a church? Um, won't this open up the floodgates? Uh, for all churches to make this kind of request. Is this, isn't this unfair? Why are we funding a non-government entity? So if we have, now it very well may be, those questions are just gonna come in by email and we'll answer, Karis and I will answer them by email at, because that's what happens. He, the moderator encourages people to send emails. Um, and people may have watched the count, our public hearing where we answered those questions as well. Um, so it's not necessary, but if you do have extra time, um, let me know and maybe all I need is, you know, maybe it's 60 seconds and maybe I could squeeze something in. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's, and let's, I'm going to request a uh, personal meeting with you in the near future. Okay. I want to go over this and make sure we get this right. If that's uh, allowed and uh, acceptable to the committee. Yeah, that's definitely allowed. Good. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Rob, I'm also... You are helpful liaison, and I haven't done much so <laughs> for the church. So if yeah. you want, you know, yeah, input, maybe I'll, I'll do a dry run and bounce it off you or something. What uh, do you want? All right. Yeah, I mean, you should take advantage of Rick's experience. Okay. Yeah. Seriously. Would you email Rick's script that you just showed us, please? Yes, I will email that around. Thank you. Okay. Um, all right. Are there any other questions? And this is under the topic of preparation for town meeting. Any other question. questions? I have a question. Sure. Mr. Chair. Um, Bob alluded to it earlier. Any uh, questions that come from town meeting on the floor, um, you will respond to those. Is that right? I think that that makes sense. Um, so I'll Let's, let's, Karis has been, Karis, get your hand up. So I just wanted to let you know, just as far as procedure goes, I will be posting a meeting just in case you do have to confer at town meeting, although I'm hoping that won't be necessary. We're also going to have an area, I will forward you it on the map once it's completed, where um, CPC and planning is going to be recommended to see, sit, so they'll say reserved on them. Um, and um, there'll be designated seats for the two CPC members who are not town meeting members to sit um, so they can sit with everybody, but so that the moderator knows that they're non voting. Okay, one, one more question. I see, in, I see in the town warrant that the uh, finance committee plans to recommend articles prior to the beginning of town meeting, which tells me a day or two in advance. There's nothing in there about the select board. Um, do you have a sense as to whether they are supportive or did they show their hand or where do we stand with them? Um, I had a conversation earlier today with the town uh, manager and I believe they voted to approve all of them yesterday at their meeting. Okay, thank you. Good to know. That's good to know. All right, thanks. Thank you. Thanks for the question and Karis, thanks for the information. Um, there was another hand up, I thought. It was mine. Okay. Joe, uh, Joe, once again, got ahead of me in the class. He <laughs> did. Okay. So now let's see this. So I would say the default is I'll answer the questions unless somebody raises their hand and they really want to take it. Um, I, I'll defer to you. Okay. Um, and if I feel it, and, and it, there, it, I think that the questions that we're going to get really are only going to be around our um, 
First Baptist and First Parish. We may get some emergency rental assistance program questions, but I think that that's gonna be pretty well vetted. The presentations will be clear. Um, and I think, you know, it's one of those things where people are gonna be pretty supportive. So I think we'll, we'll folk, we're likely gonna get questions for First Parish and First Baptist. I'll make sure I'll reread the file. Um, and if, you know, we put up that slide when we were reviewing it, when we were deliberating, which what had to do with the cost breakdown for First Parish, or yeah, First Parish. And maybe I missed it, but I didn't have that in my file. It was that, but did everyone else, did I, did I, was that, I didn't, I went back and looked at my printouts from like the, the presentations they made and, and I didn't have it. So was that just something that you had, Karis, or did everybody have it and I, and I just couldn't, I lost it? I'm sorry, on the? The, the breakdown, the, the breakdown, the cost breakdown for first. Oh, month. that was in their um, uh, PowerPoint presentation. So do you have a copy of their PowerPoint presentation? I do. Okay. Can you forward to me the PowerPoint presentation? I can. Because he, Carl is, did I assume that, oh, I didn't, I was offline when Joe was talking about what something had happened to Carl. What happened to Carl? Was Carl he, was leaving on Saturday morning. I, I forwarded the, um, the information to create a new uh, video for the, for the town meeting. He could not do it. He was leaving the ne very next morning, wouldn't have time to. So he said, could he use what he uh, uh, provided for the um, public hearing? You know, I, we don't have any choice. That was the only thing available. So I said, I, I guess so. I, I think you can. He was going to contact maybe the Karis or Cindy. And that's what, what they have. So um, my question was, mine is kind of separate from his. Although it does, uh, I give a lead in and, and give a little bit of background, but it falls on his shoulders. And I, hopefully the, uh, the public hearing presentation will be enough to suffice the, um, the questions and concerns that people have. Well, what, what we'll do is we'll have the advantage of, we can review those and uh, I'll review those and I can anticipate what the questions will be, okay? That's, okay. that's what I think is the easiest. I, but, I allude, one second, uh, one last thing. I, did allude in my uh, brief overview that we were supporting it in the amount of $50,000, um, less than requested because we would not be uh, supporting painting and contingency. So that's where the, the numbers kind of uh, work their way out down from 75 down to, down to 50. So I'll let you know that when I was presented before the select board, um, there were two questions that I thought um, I wanted to address, which was why is it there was a request for 75 and then we funded for 50. Um, I did not get into the specifics about what we, um, what we fact out because I thought that people were coming up with their own reasons. Yeah. But I pointed out one argument that you did make, which is that the parish had invested $3 million of its own money in uh, renovating and, re and restoring the, the, the exterior of the shell and in fact taking care of structural problems in the steeple and so that that reflected you know an investment that they were very good caretakers of a historic um, artifact in our town uh, and, and so they've been good caretakers and so this was the last kind of piece of the puzzle yeah. and so yeah. we felt comfortable looking at the investment that they've made into their facility and that's our historic uh, artifact um, and so we thought it was an appropriate, that, that kind of explains why we didn't fund the full amount, but also why in comparison to First Baptist Church, why it's more than say one third of the request. I mean, that's how I, I that was just, I said that that was kind of my view of it. Uh, I, I hope that I did, uh, but I did think that that was one of your arguments and that I found that kind of persuasive when we were deliberating. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, do we have any other questions or comments, Rick? Uh, Mr. Chair, just uh, a request that if we uh, do get any uh, questions from the public or town meeting member, that um, uh, you ask Harris um, to circulate them to the group so that we know what they are and uh, how we respond. 
That's that's an excellent point, uh, and I, I that's a great point. So rather than me saying Karis and I are going to answer them, uh, great. I, I would love it for the committee to answer, especially. With, okay, so that's great. A uh, quick question, Mr. Chair. Sure. Uh, Karis, um, back to our public hearing that was broadcast live. Uh, are there any data points on the, how many people logged in to listen? I think. Off the top of my head, I think there was maybe a dozen. I think that's what. I yeah. Know. That's what I, okay. Fine. Thanks. Yeah, I think there was a dozen. All right. Um, any other issues that we could not have anticipated prior to the publication of the agenda? Uh, Laura. No issues. I'm just wondering, do we get like an invite, uh, like? we normally do or do we just show up at a certain place at a certain time one o'clock on october 4th at memorial park parking lot all right so well so laura is not a town meeting member correct yes. so correct. Because, all right so because there are very specific instructions um for uh town meeting members there's entry points based on your precinct um so uh where are we are we going to be up and around the tree where yeah, it, it, it looks like the area we were thinking about is the um, front, um, if you're facing the stage front and to the left. Okay, so near the tree. Yes. Okay, so then what you would, Laura, you can park and enter where precinct I enters. That's for me and Penny, right, Penny? Penny? Are we the only two? I think Penny. I think she's on mute. Okay. She's trying to unmute. I'm listening. There she is. All right. So you're going to have a different entry point than uh, than your son, for example. I think because he's way over on the other side, and so that precinct is has a different entry point. So you're trying to kind of minimize the mingling of people, just kind of get them in into their little entry points. So go to precinct. Oh, by the way, the entry point for that is over near the tree, near the memorial uh, field building. Is that, that I guess that's, that's, what, that's what I described. But no, wait, over. And my husband would be going in no, there. No, hold on, that's, so, wait a minute, that's a little complicated. That, I mean, Karis just that's emailed. Easy. Okay, she did, all right, fine. Sorry. Yeah. And, and if I may make a quick point, because Kara said that um, Laura and Penny should plan to be there by one. Uh, town meeting is going to start at one, so you'd better be there, uh, like between twelve thirty and quarter of one. Okay. Get in and get to the area where where we're all going to be seated. I sent them the town um, the website that has all the information, including the moderator's instructions. Yeah, the moderator moderator's instructions are pretty key, and they're pretty. Um, Thank you, Carol. Clear. <clears throat> Okay. When, when you go, you'll, you'll be asked to check in um, at your entry point. So um, they'll probably give you some type of admittance to say you okay. know, why you're there. Perfect. They're, Thank they're you. Gonna give you one of those, they're going to give you one of those bracelets, you know? I'm just kidding. It's going to say Community Preservation Committee, and they're going to get all those letters onto that bracelet. And I'm going to go, I'm just going to turn it around and walk in. So, right. no, that's yeah. great. Sorry, I've never done this before. So I just have, I'm kind of clueless. That's helpful. Have, Thank you. Uh, have you been to town meeting before? No? Oh, you're, you're in for a... Oh, it's a barrel of laughs. It's, oh, it's, it's really a blast. You have, it's I have democracy at its finest. Yeah. We were going to, Mark and I were going to run for town meeting. John Bullion said we should. Okay. You should. Okay. All right. Um, we will adjourn. Can I, can I have a motion? Sure. To motion to adjourn. Okay. Second. Second. Okay. All right. A roll call vote. Uh, Mr. Alfred. Discussion. Hi. Uh, Peter, uh, what's Discussion. your schedule like on Friday? Pardon me? What is your schedule like on Friday when I'm doing my close up? Um, I am around. I'm available. Uh, okay. okay. I'm available. Uh, All right. How about you, Rick, on Friday morning? Um, I believe so, yeah. 
All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Karis, could I just re could I just confirm what is the deadline for our submittals of the re of these recordings videos? Friday at five. Okay, Mr. Albert. Aye. Barnes. Aye. Crocker. Aye. Dermody. Aye. Dorfman. Aye. Ursel. Aye. Kirk. Aye. Zimbone. Aye. And the chair votes aye. Good night, everyone. Good night. Talk to you Friday. Thanks, everybody. Thanks so much. Bye.